agents as a concept has been quite popular in the AI world. These are like autonomous systems or tools that can take an instruction and then do something. The same line Hugging Face launched something called Hugging Face Agents and that was initially launched with APIs like OpenAI API, Open Assistant API, Starcoder API. But now we have got an option to build local agents. Yes, if you have got powerful GPU, then you can build local agents that run on your machine. I don't have a powerful GPU, so I decided to show this demo on Google Colab, but pretty much the same thing that you have to do on your local computer if you have a powerful GPU. The only catch that you need to remember about this thing is you need to actually have a powerful GPU that can really learn, run a large language model. And I would like to also discuss some trade-offs that I made when I, you know, when I had to code this. You may not believe it, like I took more than six hours to get this working because I had to try a lot of different models to fit into the memory of Google Colab. And as you can see, I maxed out my GPU, like a lot of out of memory errors. So just, just to let you know that right now what you're seeing is not the best output, but the point of making this video is to make you aware of how you can run local agents. And even with certain tweakings, you can use not the best model, but still get the result that you wanted. So we're going to learn about local agents and this Google Colab notebook will be shared in the YouTube description for you to just go ahead and then start playing with this. So before we move on with the code in and itself, I would like to quickly show you and remind you what are these agents and tools that Hugging Face has launched. Hugging Face as a company has got a very popular library called Transformers. And within Transformers, they recently introduced the concepts of agents and tools. So agents are these systems that can take a natural language instruction and use tools or integrate or communicate with tools to get things done. For example, you can go here and then say generate an image of a text and then you can give the text and it can actually generate an image. So this is just one single line. All the agent is doing is it's trying to understand how to run this and it is using a bunch of tools like in this case image generator and then trying to generate the image and that is what an agent is about the core thing or the main thing about an agent here is that the agent can be of multiple types one you can have a hugging face agent that uses hugging face inference endpoints second you can have a local agent what we are seeing in this video or the best of all is you can have open ai agent for this you need gpt4 or GPT 3.5 API key. So in this video, we're going to specifically talk about local agent. So let's say you're a big enterprise or you are somebody who doesn't want to pay money or you don't even want to use API. So everything that we are going to do in this video happens only within your local machine. Unfortunately, I cannot run my code because my Google Colab session col closed. So I'm going to just show you the code so you understand how this is happening. First, Go to Google Colab and make sure the GPU is on. So here I've got a GPU T4 machine. So one of the challenge here is that make sure fit the model, everything within this memory. For example, you have like a 15 gig GPU RAM, you have got a 12 gig CPU RAM and the disk space is about 78 gig and of that like already 34 gig is uh, filled in. So this is the limitation that you are playing with. The same thing that you have to look at your computer also. What is a VRAM memory that you have got? What is a system memory that you have got? What is a disk storage that you have got? The one thing that you may not have to do it when you're doing it in local machine is you don't have to download the model every time. So you can have the model downloaded already and then do it. But to start with, you need certain libraries just to run the agent. Only transformers is fine, but you have to download models. So I was testing it with Falcon. So I used INOPS. So if you're not going to use Falcon's Falcon model, you don't need INOPS. If you're going to use Accelerate, which does a lot of things to fit in a large model in a commercial consumer GPU, you can use Accelerate. Diffusers is required if you're going to ask it to generate, like for example, create an image with stable diffusion. Sentence piece is required if you're going to use some image captioning or anything else. And bits and bytes, of course, if you have a model that you can load it in four bit, then you can use bits and bytes. I'm not using bits and bytes in this particular video, but just to give you a context of all the models that we are installing. After you have installed all the models, then you have to import torch and then from transformers, 
import auto model for causal lm auto tokenizer and local agent you may not need auto model for causal lm and auto tokenizer which i'll tell you later on why but there is also a way where you can specify the model spe download the model and also the tokenizer so you can do either this way or the way i'm showing so one is to specify the model download the model get the tokenizer and create your local agent using the class local agent so this is one way where the model gets downloaded from hugging face option one get the model download from hugging face like this option two you could have already downloaded the model on your local machine and this path actually refers to that computer let's let's say like c colon slash blah 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 the model name and that model path can be given here so this is option two option three you can directly use the model path and use local agent dot from pre-train. So this is the option three. So let me repeat three options of using local agent. Option one, specify the model path, use auto model for causal LM, auto tokenizer, get the model and tokenizer separately, create an agent using local agent. Option two, have this model already downloaded on your machine and use model and tokenizer with that particular local path, not on the internet, but local machine path and create a local agent using local agent. Option three, you don't have to do any of those things, specify the model path and then use local agent and do dot from pre-train and that will download the model in itself for you on the tokenizer. While you're doing this in all of these cases, you need to make sure what kind of model that you want to download. Um, for example, what is the data type that you want to download it with? Do you want to use device map is equal to auto, which will utilize accelerate to fit in a large model. So these are like certain things that you should look at the model documentation or model card to understand. If you're using Falcon, you need to enable trust remote code. So these are certain things that you need to pay attention to, but inherently what you're trying to do is download the model, download the tokenizer, create a local agent and create an object called agent. At this point, that's what you're doing. Once that is done, it's very simple. All you have to do is agent dot run and then give the instruction. And that instruction should be good enough for the agent to run whatever that you have asked it to. It's going to use the set of tools. Like in this case, the instruction that has been given is generate an image of a text. And I've given the text and the image generator is being used to create the image. The challenge here is that the model that I'm using is Cerebras GPT 1.3 billion parameter model, which is not really a great model, not the reflection of the model in itself. When you are going to use a model, the model should be an instruct fine tuned model because ultimately you're giving an instruction. So for this to work, you really need like something at least more than 7 billion parameter model, which I cannot very efficiently fit in the Google Collab notebook. That's why I'm not using it. So if you have enough memory more than let's say 16 gig, then please use like a 7 billion parameter fine tuned model, like a Falcon 7 billion instruct model that will take instructions properly and create the code properly. So that's something that you need to keep in mind. The model that I'm using currently works fine on Google Collab, but for every task, you need to play with certain things based on the error that you get. For example, technically, if you've got a good API, like for example, if you are using OpenAI API, generate an image of an astronaut riding a horse should be fine for the model to use that instruction and then generate the image using stable diffusion. But because we are opting for a smaller or a not that great model, we are tweaking, for example, one of the errors that I got is like answer dot font. So I'm force fitting or creating a parameter which is not ideally required, but because this model, the large language that I'm using, the large language model is not good at taking instruction and translating into code, I have to make certain tweaks. So those tweaks actually go into this. That's something that you need to keep in mind. But if you have a really good model, this would ideally work. It would generate the right code and that would give you the image or whatever that you want. And the good thing here is that it can do a variety of things. And the Hugging Face team has already put together a nice collab notebook. And we have also covered this on our channel before, which I'll link it in the YouTube description. So you can generate a summary of a website, you can create images, you can chat with images, you can get image captions, you can do tons of things. But the main thing is you need to have the right model to create the powerful agent that can do all these things for you. So the point of this tutorial is 
to show you how to run this on your local computer but also at the same time for you to play with different models and then get the right one that helps you this is not you know the auto gpt of the worlds but still it is an autonomous agent or an agent like the concept of agent that can help you give an instruction to the agent and then make the agent do certain things and you can also build your custom tools so that the agent can use it i've got a separate video about how to build your custom tool which i will link it in the youtube description you can check it out so to quickly summarize this video in this video we learned about local agents from hugging face transformers and we also learned how to use these local agents on a google collab notebook to generate an image you can play with different prompts here and then see how this agent behaves the quality of this agent's code that it generates is primarily dependent on the model that you are using so make sure that you use the best model for the computer that you have got the memory that you have got the storage that you have got so that the instructions are completely translated or correctly translated into the right code which will be sent to the tools to get it executed and then you get the result i hope this tutorial was helpful to you in learning about local agents from hugging face i will share this google collab notebook in the youtube description for you to get started right away if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise happy prompting stay safe